our final, I hope, final Halloween Horror Nights update for 2023. Shows, scare zones, we have a lot to talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, today we were surprised and shocked that we finally got the final announcements for Halloween Horror Nights, which is our scare zones and the two shows that are going to be coming this year. Brand new, new original shows coming this year to Halloween Horror Nights. I'm super stoked for this. Let's get down to those shows first. They're both Blumhouse related. Over in the Waterworld area, The Purge Dangerous Waters, a brand new stunt show coming to Universal Studios Halloween Hornets. And the press release goes as follows. It has been a decade since the, pur the Purge first declared all crime is legal for 12 hours as part of the government's annually sanctioned Purge, and an iconic franchise was born. Now, for the first time, the Purge Dangerous Waters takes the blockbuster film franchise into a entirely new environment, open waters, in an all-new live show. I love the sound of this in the sense that it kind of sounds like it could be its own movie, um, which is really cool. So it's kind of going to be like its own original concept. So they have a lot that they can play with in this one and just kind of tie that 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 sense of the purge into it. I'm super stoked for this. I'm going to make sure I go see this every time I go because I think we're only getting three trips. I'm definitely going to go see this. Um, this looks and sounds phenomenal uh, to see kind of something new, a new action stunt show. Um, I'm hoping that after the, the selling of this year that they continue to do this in other aspects or, or whatnot or continue to uh, do new stories with this. This could be really cool to do like a new Purge story. Um, but I love the sound of this. This kind of sounds like its own little short thing, you know, its own little film. So that's going to be really cool to see that. And then the second second one going into the DreamWorks Theater is Blumhouse Behind the Screams. It's inspired by some of its blockbuster films um, that you're going to see in here. Uh, featuring the likes of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. You're going to get an exclusive first look at that. Exclusive first look at The Exorcist Believer. And um, you're going to see fan favorites like Megan and The Black Phone. This unique experience will break the fourth wall and invites guests to explore these films as they step through the silver screen for an up-close look at authentic film props, costume displays, and terrifying character encounters. I'm super stoked for this. I cannot wait to see uh, what they're going to have in this and and, and uh, what kind of characters they're going to have in this. Um, I'm hearing Five Nights at Freddy's. I know a lot of people wanted that to come to HHN this year, but I'm hoping that uh, next year with the success of the movie maybe um, – that it will come down. I'm super stoked. This is going to be another experience that we're going to go check out and, and get uh, on footage for you guys because uh, we're trying to give you the absolute best coverage of Halloween Horror Nights this year. I'm so blown away that we're going to have some like really cool shows this year and really cool experiences. That it just it, This year is looking to be a very solid year. Um, and we've been celebrating Halloween Hornets all week on the channel, so this was kind of like a little bonus video for you guys to, to share with you the excitement of the announcements that we got. Uh, let's let's take a look at some of the scare zones that are coming this year. We have three total scare zones, and one of them is at the end of uh, Monstruos. I'm super exto uh, excited for that one. That's going to be going, but this is El Ter de, la, de las uh, Momeas. I probably butchered that. I, I'm horrible at speaking Spanish, uh, and I am Mexican, so that just doesn't make sense to me. Um, <laughs> but uh, that one's going to go right outside of um, the uh, maze of Monsteros, and I'm super excited to see what they do to see uh, the, the more to expand more of that lore. So I'm, I'm excited to see uh, where we go with that one. So that should be really cool. And then in New York Street, a uh, scare zone that's been, uh, you know, you've been seeing on construction updates and people have been taking their guesses at what it could be. Some people guessed dolls. Some people guessed other like circus related things. It is entitled Toys with a Z because we know John Murdy loves his Z's and it's easy to trademark. Um, this scare zone is gonna, uh, uh, this scare zone dares guests to play in the toy box of terror where a wicked toy maker used dark magic to bring his evil toys to life. I'm excited to see that. Uh, the props look amazing right now, so uh, I'm super excited to see where uh, we're going to go on this adventure right now. And a new one. This is the one that I think I'm most hyped for, just for the sounds of it, and to see some of the little bit of the designs that they showed in, in, the, in the pictures. Uh, a welcome wagon of ghosts with a Z, because you know easy to trademark uh featuring a horde of blood-soaked chainsaw wielding ghosts gather at the entrance of halloween horror nights to rattle nerves so this is going to be our chainsaw area from main gates all the way to new york street i'm super excited to see what these scare zones have to bring um i'm so stoked for this year uh we are less than a week away 
from the opening night of Halloween Horror Nights. And to all my Orlando friends, I hope you guys are enjoying Halloween Horror Nights right now. Uh, just seeing the Tribute Store was so jealous of that. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the footage of the Orlando Tribute Store, go check it out. Uh, recommended Zombie Chris, if Losh has it, Eddie Tainment, all my Florida Boo Bros, uh, Hollow Thrills, you know, um, go check them out. Go see if they have any walkthroughs of it because I am so jealous of that. They literally put you in a comic book. So that was really cool. But I haven't seen any walkthroughs yet. Um, I'm, I'm imagining, uh, you know, tonight we'll start seeing them roll out for Orlando. So that might be what I might be watching all weekend just to see what their stuff looked like. Uh, and to get me a little bit more excited for Halloween Horror Nights. But until then, we will see you guys tomorrow for our final video, which is our most hyped mazes of 2023 we know this is a fan favorite of the hhn week we would have included scare zones and shows but we pre-recorded that last sunday and we didn't have time to kind of include those in so i do apologize for that but i promise for knots week we will make it up but until then i'm your host anthony and we'll see you guys in the next one